Welcome everyone. Thanks for checking out this video and tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Appreciate all you guys for being here. We're going to go ahead and do a love reading, a timeless love reading. So this applies whenever you watch this video and hopefully this can help guide you to make whatever decision you need to make or give you some answers or guidance regarding your current love situation or what it is that you want to know regarding love at this point in time. Okay, so for those of you who are new to pick a card readings, you have pile one, two and three. Go ahead and take a minute and see whichever pile you are most drawn to and whichever one you are, that is the pile. You go ahead and scroll down to the description box below for the timestamp. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. But first I would like to ask if you like these messages, please like, comment and subscribe and share my channel with family and friends because there may be messages, messages here for them as well. And if you are interested in booking a private reading or after this reading you want to see a little more how it pertains to you and you know want something more personal then you can contact me at my email which is also in the description box to so go ahead and book that okay so for those of you who chose pile number one we're going to go ahead and get started okay we're going to begin here pile number one with the lover's oracle okay the lover's oracle this is your general message here Okay, and it is when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, so whatever it is that you're asking about or whatever the situation is you're dealing with right now is letting you know there's no right or wrong answer. You know, there's really no, there's no right or wrong. Okay, you have to do what feels good to you, what it is that you want. Okay, now this is from the Heal Yourself Oracle. This is something that you need to currently focus on and possibly heal to bring that love in or to get the most out of your love life and your partnership. Okay, you have the number two here, which is take your mask off. Okay, so some of you guys may be holding back a little bit or trying to portray something or act like someone that you, you, you know, you're truly not. And that may be hindering yourself because since that is what you, you know, you're portraying, it's attracting certain things that you really don't want. And actually, this is not the number two. I thought this was the Roman number, the Roman numeral for two, but it's not. It's actually the number 11. OK, so if 11 uh, may be uh, applying to you at this time as well. Okay, so I'm going to read from the book for this message. Take your mask off. Stop trying to appear different to who you really are. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Are you constantly doing things to please others, even if this does not work for you? This card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. You will know what you will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them, as well as those who doubted and disliked them. Okay, so that was kind of what I was saying was, you know, this love that you want to draw in or, you know, for those of you that are already in a relationship, you're not getting the, the most out of it because for some reason you have these blocks up, you have these walls up, okay? You have this mask on certain areas of your life that you're not wanting to reveal, you're not wanting to share, or you're trying to portray something, you know? If something is bothering you and you're, you're acting like it doesn't, that's a mask, okay? If you're acting like you like something and you don't, that's a mask. You need to really be honest with this other person, um, so that they can give you what you want, you know, what it is that you're wanting from them. Or just in general, you know, for those of you who are single, you need to be your true authentic self so you can attract the right type of love, the right type of partner. If you're pretending to be something, then guess what? You're gonna have to continue to pretend to be that same person throughout the entire relationship. 
you know so just be your authentic self from the get-go you know be yourself be true to yourself show your true self and then you will know whether this person is right for you and it will also help you feel more happier too not like you're having to conceal part of yourself or part of your feelings or thoughts okay the next card here is the romance angels and the message is very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay so this person this relationship this connection whatever it can come very soon but you need to decide what you want you need to make that choice you need to really sit down and think what is it that you truly want you know some of these um you know if a relationship was based off of the person you were trying to be or the things you were trying to hide you know that may not be something true because it was established on false grounds okay so keep that in mind now the next card is from the goddess guidance oracle and the message is focused intention keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will hit your you will make your mark okay so that goes here with the very soon card where it's saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay you need to decide what it is that you want deciding what it is that you want and then focus that intention once you decide and you make your mind up about what you want and you focus that intention you're going to hit the target and that's going to be able to release that to actually come to you that's what you're going to attract but for some of you guys you guys are still afraid to make a choice or hesitant you need to you know just decide make a choice and start taking those actions okay now this is from the psychic tarot of the heart deck okay and your first card is release okay release the next card is success and growth and then the last card is the third eye chakra okay so for some for like i said some of you this is releasing releasing those fears those doubts releasing those things that you've been hiding within you and once you release that you can heal you can move forward that success and growth will come okay because now things will be true things will be true and you won't have to put that mask on anymore you won't have to hide parts of yourself so you can truly be able to get you know what it is that you want not what you're pretending that you want or compromising because you're afraid to show someone all of you okay and then you have the third eye chakra here okay the third eye chakra is located in the center of your forehead between your eyebrows it represents intuition foresight and is driven by openness and imagination okay if you have some blockages there may be a lack of direction being able to make choices lack of clarity so yes this does very much tie in okay if you are blocked this means you're unable to make a decision you're not feeling very confident you're not trusting in yourself and that's probably why that card says when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong so stop fearing that you may make the wrong decision okay and then your guidance is telling you to take off that mask to release those fears release the things that you are holding back and that will bring you the success and growth that you want with this partner with a uh, love a future love interest a potential partner you know it will allow the success and the growth regarding your love life okay once you can release that once you can set those things you've been locked away you, that you've locked away for so long free okay that's when you know you're setting those intentions you're you're finally making a decision on what it is you want what it is that you decide desire what it is that you will accept and then the universe can go ahead and give it to you because they want to very soon is what the card said very soon 
but by you keeping this mask on you're prolonging the process you're prolonging your blessings you're keeping your blessings at bay okay now this is from the guardian angel tarot and the first message is six of action when a wonder what a wonderful experience for you your project is a total success bringing awards promotions or other recognition for your efforts well done if someone who can help you offers assistance know that this person is heaven sent and say yes the next card is eight of emotion and it reads you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life in your heart you know that there is more out there waiting for you in the world it may be time to switch careers move to a new home or city or initiate other important changes do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life and then lastly you have review and contemplation you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present you'll get clear on your divine life purpose don't be distracted by conventional thinking be the real you again be the real you be honest with yourself okay be the real you it's and then this car is telling you do what feels right to you you're longing for more you know you know that there's more out there and you're not getting it but you're not getting it because you're not asking for it or showing that this is what you want okay there are people willing to give you what you want and it will be a success the six of action says you know basically what you put your mind to is going to be successful and that just clarified this the success and growth card okay it's telling you be the real you and decide what it is that you want next okay so again you have a choice here you have to make a choice. You have to set those intentions. You have to hit that mark, hit that target. Once you decide what it is that you want or you come to accept what it is that you want within you, not what it is that you feel you need to accept to please other people, that's when you can truly be happy. Okay, so I hope this was the message that you guys needed to hear group one. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share my channel with family and friends because there may be a message here for them as well. Blessings to you all. Now, for those of you who chose group number two, okay, we're starting with the Lover's Oracle. And the message is Romance, Cupid's Arrow Strikes. Okay, so that is already starting off good. So there is some love here already in you know your your area you, there is love around you okay and now the heal yourself oracle this is something that you need to focus on to heal yourself okay and the message is number 22 have faith okay so i'm going to go ahead and read from the book for the message have faith Faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident to the naked eye. To generate more faith, focus on the why. Your dreams, desires, feelings, attitudes, and thinking, and not on the how, which is the action plan, strategies, and skills. Your whole life you have been taught to think about the how, which leads to doubt and fear. The wisdom of this card is asking you only to focus on the why. The magic that will happen if you stop focusing on the how and only on the why is that after some time of practice, you will notice that the how will present itself to you. It's through your focused positive thinking that you will create people, circumstances, and events that will take you closer to your dreams. What you have mostly done is to focus on the how, which has made you doubt yourself. This means that you are vibrating negative thoughts into the universe, keeping your dreams away. Remember, you were created to be a co-creator here on earth, designed for achievement. Faith is knowing that everything is going to work out the best possible way, no matter what things look like. 
Okay, so this since this is a love reading, maybe some of you guys have been doubtful um, if love was going to come back for you. If you, you know, um, what I'm getting here is maybe some of you guys had uh, ended a long-term relationship or a serious relationship, you know, whether by choice or not by choice. And you may be hurt a little bit and you may think, oh, will I ever be able to love somebody again the way I love that person? Or um, maybe it was a very uh, negative relationship before where they kind of put you down or you just, you know, you're kind of just depressed and don't have that that self-confidence anymore. You're, you're lacking that self-worth and you're asking yourself, can, you know, can somebody else really love me you know am i capable of love or being loved and the answer is yes okay you just need to have that faith have that faith like i said don't focus on the how oh how am i going to attract this person how am i going to meet this person how am i going to let go of the past how 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 no it's telling you focus on the why why will somebody love you because you are lovable why will a relationship come to you? Because you're meant to be with somebody. There's somebody here in this world for everybody. Okay, focus on that why, not the how. Change that thinking. Okay, the next card is the Romance Angels. And look at that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. Yeah, so um, for whatever reason, you guys have lost that self-confidence. Um, you're not really living in that self-love. You're doubting yourself. You're doubting your abilities. Um, you know, you're kind of being harsh on yourself. You're being hard on yourself for whatever reason. Whether it's because you've been emotionally hurt before or you know people in your past or people in your life tell you you're not good enough or nobody's gonna want you or maybe you know with nowadays maybe you guys are just on social media too much and you're comparing yourself to some of these uh very unrealistic expectations you know you're comparing yourself to um the way other people look or the lives that other people are portraying that they are living okay remember everything on social media is not real so for those of you who are very big on social media that can that can do that can break you down a little bit because you're thinking all these people out there you know are living these lavish lives and everything is all perfect and you know rainbows and sunshine but you don't know really what goes behind the scenes you know so don't compare yourself to other people. Accept yourself, love yourself. And once you do that, you're also attracting that love. Once you love yourself and accept yourself, you know, that is what's going to be attracted to you. You're going to attract more, more love. You're going to attract, you know, more people who's going to honor you, worship you, respect you. Okay. That's, that's how you attract that. And it's telling you have faith. Okay, have faith that everything will work out. Excuse me. And you still got this card here where the romance, you know, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. That means the love is coming in if it did not already present itself to you. You know, if it presented itself to you and you're being hesitant, you know, Maybe you need to do a little, you know, obviously you need to do some self-healing first, but don't go turning down the offer just yet. You know, don't be so reluctant to the fact that someone is actually attracted to you or trying to give you an offer. Okay. And if that offer has not come in yet, it's coming. Maybe you just need to heal yourself first. Okay, and now the next card is the Goddess Guidance. Medicine Woman. You are a, a channel for divine healing power. Okay, see, so this is not just for, you know, the females watching this. This can be, you know, for the male also. 
it's just the energy the medicine woman okay feminine energy is more of the nurturing healing loving kind of en energy whereas masculine is more of the take charge authoritative action you know kind of energy so this is saying basically to tune in to that feminine energy that healing power that is within each and every one of us okay it says you are a channel for divine healing power like i said this is a time that you really need to heal yourself from within okay you need to heal yourself you need to accept yourself you need to heal from whatever hurt you have experienced um the self-doubt the you know lack of self-confidence you need to heal from that you need to build yourself back up and you can do it you have the ability to do it you just need to hone in on it now these next cards are from the psychic tarot of the heart and the first card is find balance okay find balance then we have manifest and we have flow okay so find that balance you need to heal yourself okay balance your energies within you okay make sure you're not spending too much time in one area of your life and not in another you know you may be like i said judging yourself too harshly and manifest like i said you're you're a divine healer you have divine healing power you can manifest this healing power okay you can manifest meaning you can attract the partner that you desire you can attract the love that you desire but you need to heal yourself first and know that you are um know that you are more than how do you say it um that you are more than basically like it's it's meant for you to experience that there's nothing that should be stopping you okay you've earned that basically you've earned that right to be loved i don't know why i i just got so tongue twisted but you've earned that right to be loved you, okay you deserve that's the word i was looking for you deserve to be loved you deserve to have the love that you desire okay you deserve that so that's what you need to get in your mind that's the why here why should you be loved why would a why would the perfect partner come in why because you deserve it that's why you deserve it don't focus on the how how will it happen just the why why because you deserve it okay and flow go with the flow you know don't be so reluctant if someone is trying to give you a, a offer of love here accept it you know and if it if you're want to take a little bit of time to feel things out and stuff you know just uh, communicate openly you know just let them know you you want to take it slow and see where things go you you don't want to just jump into stuff you know and if it is a true well-intended heartfelt offer you know they will be acceptant of that and give you the space and the time that you need you know now the next cards are from the guardian angel tarot and you have creativity and abundance dear one you're being called to action you're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are it's a time uh, for great creativity giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you okay yeah you have this power to attract this abundance this abundance of love okay you're ready to accomplish you know those goals you're ready to take on that new love okay you just need to decide what it is that you want you're made for greatness now the next card is a new beginning you're at the beginning of a wonderful journey there's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way you have unique gifts to offer the world 
If you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. Yes, like I said, and like the card said, that have faith card. Okay, you are a person that has this divine healing power. Okay, you are the manifester here. You can attract things. You can create things if you truly believe. Okay, there's a new beginning here. A new relationship or a new... Uh, re, re, uh, to reignite that passion, that love. Okay, it's a new beginning here. Positive. Love is coming in. Now, the next card is the Guardian Angel of Thought. And it reads, You may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. Okay, so like this reading has said, you know, a lot of this thing, a lot of these things are, are your thoughts, how you're thinking about things. Okay, and maybe it's time to speak up. Okay, the card says, you know, your angels will give you the perfect words. Okay, so maybe some of you, for some of you, you have to stand up to those people who have uh, said bad things about you. You know, you need to confront them and let them know, you know, you don't accept that. That's not true. You know, you need to maybe confront them so that you can get, regain your power back. And what I'm getting for some of you guys, this is not for all of you, but some of you, it's going to take a little more than just trying to change the way you think. You're going to need some more help and some more support because some of you are truly depressed, truly unhappy. Okay. And maybe you guys need to seek some professional help. You know, do not take offense to that. It's you know, so that you can speak to someone who's not really going to judge you, who, who it, it's their job to help you. Okay. To help you and help guide you on, on the steps that you can take to change the way you think about yourself, to leave the past and the traumatic events that may have got you to that point in the past, you know, so that you don't allow them to continue to influence your future. Okay, that's just for some of you, but that is what I'm getting here. Okay, so overall, you know, you need to have faith. Love has either recently appeared or it's going to appear very soon, but you guys have some self healing that you need to do, but know that you are capable and it is going to happen. Okay, it's all on you. You have all the tools that you need. And for a select few of you, if you feel you need that extra push, that extra help, don't be afraid to go ahead and step out and look for, you know, a mentor or a counselor or some other type of guidance here. Okay. And you do have these cards. You have a sequence of cards. You have the zero, one, two, and three, and then you have two and 22. So two, two, two. So for those of you who are interested in numerology and stuff like that, you know, you can look that up, those specific numbers, or you can go ahead and Google angel numbers, you know, two, 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 there may be a special message there for you or the zero, one, two, three, you know, that sequence of numbers there. Okay. And there may be a special message there that resonates just for you guys. Okay. So I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. I do wish you all the best. And I hope that healing comes sooner than later so you can accept and enjoy that love that is coming in. Okay, thank you for watching. Many blessings to you all. Okay, now for those of you who chose group number three, we're going to begin with the lover's oracle here. And the message is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, so that is a message there from somebody to you. Okay, someone really truly loves you. Okay, now this is from the Heal Yourself Oracle. 
And the message is patience, number 23. Okay, so I'm going to read from the book. So you have the specific message for this card. And it is, you must develop patience in all areas of your life. Patience does not mean that you give up and do nothing. On the contrary, you need to be aware of several aspects of the circumstance that you are facing. Patience requires you to stop pushing, rushing, and creating potential explosive situations. Instead, it asks you to see the bigger picture and become aware of the ingredients that may be missing. If you are impatient with a particular person, instead give them space. Avoid jumping to conclusions and making up dramatic stories about a person or a situation without being aware of all the details. You have an opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, you have an opportunity to let go of judgment. Always look for the truth of the situation, not what someone is saying or doing, but why. Patients can also be connected to a health condition you are recovering from, a new diet or exercise program you have embarked on, or a new course of study that you may begin. So like I said, you need to apply patience to all areas of your life. And since this is a love reading, um, maybe you need to just be patient, a little more patient with this person. You know, be pa for those of you who are in a relationship, you know, maybe you need to be patient, a little more patient for that person to, you know, commit on a deeper level or to really expose themselves and show themselves, you know, those deeper feelings. You know, you may have to be patient to allow that person to find, you know, the best way for them to express themselves to you. OK, and for those of you who are um, waiting on somebody, you know, just be patient. It's going to happen in the right time. OK, don't push that person because you want their offer of love to be true and sincere. OK says you know look with deep look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so this is going to be a very uh real offer of love okay whether you're already in a relationship or not this person is going to truly love you or or truly does love you already they're just maybe finding it a little difficult to show you that you know a way to express themselves or you may want more you know you guys may already be in a long-term relationship and be like okay well when are when are is that person going to make the next step you know when are we going to talk about you know maybe getting married or maybe moving together or you know, maybe having children or something like that. For those of you who are who has been in a relationship for a while, you know, you're waiting for that next step. It's just telling you to just be patient. It's going to happen. Okay. This is the Romance Angels Oracle. And the message is engagement. Oh, look at what I just said. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now. For those of you who are not in a relationship or just got in a relationship, it does not necessarily mean that the next day that person is going to propose to you. OK, it's saying your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. OK, that higher level of commitment that you're asking for, you're longing for, you're waiting for is going to happen. You just need to hold on a little longer, be patient a little longer. Don't push the issue so much because when you push, that's making the other person reluctant or it's, you know, making them pause and hesitate. OK, like I said, you want this offer to come from the heart to be a genuine heartfelt offer because they do really care about you. So they want to give you that commitment, but maybe they're just a little afraid, you know, afraid to take the next step you know, or unsure on how to approach you or unsure how to initiate that conversation. Okay. Everyone has fears. So just give them some time to figure it, to figure it out and make their decision. Because once they do, you know, it's going to be genuine. Okay. 
now the next card is from the goddess guidance oracle and the message is sorceress you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality yeah so just be patient okay you are a very powerful person what you think of you can make happen okay that's that that's how the law of attraction works what you think of what you focus your intentions on is what you're going to attract okay so just be patient and in that patient time you know just see just see that offer coming in see that proposal or that conversation you know to take things to another level you know play it out in your head how you how you want it to be you know focus on the good like i know it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen rather than oh why is it taking so long maybe it's not gonna happen you know just know that it is and focus on that maintain positivity okay now the next cards are from the psychic tarot of the heart and it is teach feeling alone and trust okay so some of you guys may feel like some of you guys may be feeling alone right now okay but you have uh the number five here two number fives so that's showing that there is going to be change okay you guys may be dealing with a challenge you know something challenging right now and that may be the fact that you're having to be patient you patience may not be your strong suit okay and you may be dealing with a person that you may be more mature than them or you may be ready for that deeper level of commitment and they are not you know maybe they were not raised or grew up around true healthy committed relationships and that may be what's making it difficult for them to give you what it is that you want you know to to find that confidence that they are capable of it even though maybe their parents weren't or you know all the relationships that surrounded them growing up were not really healthy or really committed you know kind of thing and that's where you probably have to step in to teach them and to show them you know show and teach by doing you know not just by talking and demanding you know and for some of you guys maybe you know this is teaching you a lesson on how to be patient maybe this is your lesson here you know everything is not going to be on demand and instant so maybe this is teaching you a lesson first you know to just be patient don't depend on someone um to give you the happiness you can be happy with or without somebody you can be happy whether you get everything you want or not you know being happy is a choice a choice that you make okay you may be feeling alone right now you may be feeling like this person is not giving you what you want you know and like it may never happen because you you know it's taking forever in your eyes but trust trust that it is going to happen trust that okay it, this love is going to ascend you just need to be patient okay just trust that everything is going to work out remember focus you need to focus on you know the why why will it happen because this person truly loves you okay but maybe they just need a little more time to figure things out or maybe they have something they need to work on in themselves first to then give you that true commitment that you want okay and now from the guardian angel tarot the card is ace of thought this cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea which is truly inspired it's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea don't be dissuaded by a little challenge by little challenges along the way these are merely course corrections to perfect your plan okay so yeah maybe you know 
the converse the conversation you guys had a conversation about okay well are we going to get together or are we going to move in you know we've been together for a while when are we going to get married or when are we going to start having kids or you know it, it applies differently from ev for everybody but you guys may have already you may have already voiced your your desire for something more you know and it's going to happen because you planted that seed in the person's head and now they just need to you know focus and really come to you know acceptance that that is what they want so and then when they do it will be a genuine love offer to you but you need to let this person make the decision on their own and that may be what's challenging you you know you may be like oh well why is it taking you so long to make a choice why is it taking you so long to commit or you know what was so hard about making the decision or to say yes you know you may not understand that, but just know that things are going to work out. Okay, you just need to be patient a little longer so that that person can come to that decision on their own terms so that they're not feeling forced. Okay, you wouldn't want somebody to just tell you yes just because they think that's what's going to make you happy. And then in the back of their mind, they really don't want that. You know, that specific thing. You want it to be true, genuine, authentic. Okay, now the next card is Messenger of Action. Something new and excited relating to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. Okay, so this is, you know, this card it's saying something about creativity, you know, you having an eagerness to learn. And maybe that's you seeking out a teacher or seeking out some learning in some area. You know, maybe maybe that's what's telling that's maybe that's that is what is going to help you attain that patience that you need right now. By instead of focusing your energy on this person and the time that it's taken for them to make that decision, maybe you should just focus on something for yourself you know take a class learn something new something fun that's gonna you know ignite that passion and take your attention off of what it take your attention off of what's taken a little longer than you like okay now the next card is three of emotion wonderful news is on the way announcements regarding engagements pregnancies births or graduations will be revealed new friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to another exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner yeah so see again it's talking about engagements okay so for some of you i know everybody here everybody viewing this video is not in a relationship is not going to get engaged but for uh, for the select few of you guys who are watching this this is your confirmation you guys been waiting for that person to propose or to start talking about engagement or you know maybe you are wanting to you know propose to the other person but you're not sure if they're going to accept your proposal okay this is confirmation that yes you know it's coming it's going to happen you just need to be patient and for other uh, others of you this is just letting you know that there's good the good news is on, is on its way the good news is coming in your love ascending to the next level is going to happen you just need to be patient okay you are going to upgrade things are going to get upgraded things are going to get better okay you're going to get what you're asking for you just need to be patient okay things are not going to be on your timeline and you need to be accepting of that okay you need to be patient and in the meantime you know, try to occupy your time with something else, something that you like to do, you know, teach yourself something, learn something or help teach others something that is your strong suit. 
Okay, so I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope that these things play out for you because it is a good reading and I want everyone to have the true love and light that they deserve. Okay, so until next time, many blessings.